I called up my landlord and said, hey, I got a leak in my sink. He said, go ahead, I'm not judging. So, uh, so that's that. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. I have a couple of uh, straight razors I tortured on my honing stones that we'll be trying out today. And the soap is, once again, from the Ukraine. This is from Arefa Soap, Time Dragon. And I got a sample, and this is made from cows. Not from Ukrainian bears, but from Ukrainian cows. Or maybe they shot some Russian, I don't know. So I put a piece of it in, in a bowl and I, I loaded the brush. This is Friendship Shaving from, what is it? Frank Shaving makes the brushes. Oh, and I have way too much soap. Just the word, it should be. I just came back from the last game of the season of this, the sport I'm following. It's an outdoor sport on ice called Bundy. And I'm not gonna go into <laughs> that again, but it was uh, not so chilly. It was actually above freezing today, which isn't very good for the game because the ice gets a bit soft, but good entertainment with my team who made it to the playoffs for the first time ever. They, they lost, so they're out. So there you go. That's why the cheeks and the nose are a bit red, because even though it's not cold, cold, it's still outdoors and it's actually raining a bit. So there you have it. How how have you been? Have you been okay? What are you shaving with today? Let us know. Let us know in the comments. Straight razors, safety razors. What are you using? Or God forbid, electric razors. But then again, I guess you wouldn't be watching this. Well, if, if anyone shaved today with an electric razor, let us know. We're not gonna judge, just want to know. And if you did, why are you watching grown men tr shave traditionally? That is the question. Okay, so beef tallow. First time I try that from Refa Soaps. I've tried, what is it, three of the bear tallow. This seems pretty all right. I'm gonna add plenty of water. I actually have, I think I have about five racers. I have to test shave, but I, I'll only do these two in the video. They're Swedish, they're by C.V. Heljestrand. Uh, pouring lather all over the place as usual. Let's see where we're at. Pretty good. Ah, it's sad. Let's add more water. Why the heck not? It's Wednesday. In Sweden, Wednesday is called Little Saturday. So that's an excuse to do a bit of partying on a Wednesday. I'm not going to do any partying because I'm going to go to work tomorrow, bright and early, and, and I'm on my own. It's Valentine's Day. 14th of February, and um, my wife isn't even here, so saves me a bit of money on flowers and so on and so on so i have two cv heliostrand racers and i'm going to put the glasses on to let you know what they are this one the black handled one is uh, mk mkn that's probably mk number 24 and the other one is 24. I didn't even 
notice, didn't even pay attention. One's a bit shinier than the other. Okay, so black handle, number 24. Let's see where we're at. Seems to be doing okay. These are small racers, so they'll be about four eighths of an inch, so half an inch, which is a bit smaller than what I prefer. Beautiful leather. So the cows in the Ukraine are good for soap, just like the bears. Yeah, this one is shaving just fine. So, if I remember, I'll do left side of my face with the with this one. So I'll do downstairs. Still enjoying the honing quite a bit. I'm guessing the novelty will fade away eventually, but I'm, I'm still having a lot of fun. This one, this one is, looks like it's a bit wonky at the edge, but I, you know, it's just trick of the eye, I think. So, same razor, same model razor anyway. Now this one's oh, it's still pretty okay. If you hone your own racers. Can you tell what they're going to be like when you take them off the stone before you test shave? I, I can't. I really can't. Okay, sometimes when it's a really good racer, you can tell. But most of the time, is. Just a surprise <laughs> when, I it, when I put it to the face and you go, oh, that's really good, or what? Oh. So my amateur take on honing is that when you go from sort of sharp enough to finishing up the edge so that it's really sharp and comfortable it's, it's basically a matter of time on the stone so I've had racers that are sharp enough <clears throat> and I shave with them and they're oh, okay and then I think wow well, yeah <coughs> sorry let's do a bit more and I spend another 15 minutes or so on the stone just going back and forth hardly knowing what I'm doing and you try again and they're like wow and I just I just wish I could come to a point where I know what I'm doing to the extent that when I finish on the finishing stone I know what it's going to be like but tell me your experience, please. So, the, there's a very long list of scent notes on this soap. Uh, I'm not going to go through all of it because I can't remember. But woody and leathery is how it is described. But I would say, uh, and that's... Correct, I agree. But this one has a sweetness to it as well. So 
So sweet, woody, and leathery. That's such a nice word, isn't it? Leathery. What is it like? It's leathery. I'm liking the edge on this one quite a lot, actually. So there you go, and I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the switcheroos and go to the other one side of the face and let's see this one didn't feel as as good as the other one on on the with the grain pass but now it feels really good So I sent off the five racers that Matti sent to me together with one of the stones and I, I purchased the other one. I bought the one I preferred, which is the one he likes the least. So that worked out very well. And And he hasn't tried the racers yet. But he, he says he will. And of course I'll make videos, he said. And I thought of replying, maybe you should try them first. <laughs> and, <laughs> and only use the ones that are decent. Because, you know, negative feedback. We all say we want it to learn. And if you do learn, if you get feedback in the sense that you should do more of this on, the, on, on this razor, and then it's going to be better, then that's good feedback. But just generally, generally feedback that is, ah, it's not very good. We hate that. Um, don't we? And even, even constructive criticism, you know, we don't like it. We need it. So I'm a bit nervous about that. Two of those racers were okay. The others... Not so much, but I did try my best. Or I, I wore the wore the wrists out, honing them anyway. This was nice. This was a good experience. <clears throat> when we wipe the remainders of the lather off, we'll get proper feedback in terms of what was the result of the shape, but it, it feels good. And it's, it's a bit weird. I think I think I've said this before, but it's, it's I am able to put a comfortable edge on a lot of racers, 
It's just sometimes it's comfortable, but not sharp enough. I didn't think that was possible. I think, I thought sharpness came, came first. You know what I mean? Okay, let's see how we did. This is bloody perfect. This is excellent. This is, it's okay. It's okay. Good enough, actually. So, my measurement of whether it's good enough is, is would I sell this racer with good conscience? And I only sell things with a good conscience. And black handle for sure. The other one, yeah, I would, I would actually sell that too. So I give myself good grades. This is pretty pointless television, isn't it? Uh, I don't have the matching aftershave, but I have another aftershave from Arefa. This is Smoky Midday. So that should, shouldn't be a million miles away. I can't remember what it smells like. It's the first one I tried. So take a bit of that. Nice little burn. Ah, it's actually quite close. She makes such good aftershaves. Really, really outstanding. Some of the best I've tried. And I've said this before, when you put it on, oh, that was a good shave. Happy about the shape, happy about the edges. So you put it on and it feels a little bit tacky, but you leave it for a minute and it's just, the goodness goes into the skin and, and voila. So it's actually nourishing the skin or at least that's what it feels like. And I'm not gonna put a balm on because I don't feel I have to. Now, all in all, a very, very nice shave with a couple of heliestrams and some, some beef soap from the Ukraine. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your little Saturday and stay sharp.